Ladies and gentlemen, this week, my girlfriend moves in with me. Pretty cool. And again, I got to say this. Thank you to those of you who were incredibly supportive over the, the whole year 2017 when I changed from more YouTube oriented to more live stream oriented. In particular, the last couple months of 2017 and these first couple months of 2018. <clears throat> it's because of your positive support, I was able to get through temporarily my short term tax situation that I had. And now here I am, able to to have her move in with me so soon. Pretty damned awesome, all right? That being said, the last few days, I went into overdrive. I streamed longer and later. I did double streams like today, Sunday. I never do a double stream. I did a double stream. I basically went above and beyond as much as I could to get as much in as I could before I went on time away, all right? The purpose of this video is to, number one, explain what's going to happen while I have time away, and number two, explain how I'm returning, what I'm coming back to, what I need from you for feedback, because there's going to be a poll you need to vote on while I'm gone, and then to explain how things are going to change in the future as a result of my girlfriend now moving in, all right? So let's talk, folks. First of all, as of right now, I have streamed a shitload. Oh, yeah, I gotta suck it out. Nice and deep in there. The last few days, okay? I have four sessions of gameplay saved up. I'm going to upload Call of Duty World War II War Mode gameplay. The three war maps, I played through them, did a good two-hour session of this on Saturday. I did surprisingly well. In fact, I was doing so well. I was getting kills. People were giving me cheer bounties and stuff in the stream chat because I was doing so good. And then Thursday, the final Player Unknown's Battleground session from tonight. Tonight's session in particular, Sunday night. I did well. I made top 10, I think three times, if not. Yeah, I did pretty good. And one time I made top five. It was really good gameplay, but much better than usual. I had better luck. Discussion was good. Tons of people were cheering and asking me questions. It was a really great final stream before time away, and I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> During that time period, as I said, there will be no gameplay streams. But as my girlfriend moves in, as we get stuff set up in the house, as she gets settled in, we clean out this office over here and we set it up with her stuff and get it all ready to go. I'll maybe be taking pictures for social media. Hint, hint, right over here at They Call Me DSP. I'll be maybe putting pictures up there or via my Instagram. But my Instagram, I always put on Twitter anyway, okay? So, social media stuff, some of it this week will definitely happen. Will I be vlogging? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on what we actually get to this week. Um, I'm not 100% that we're going to get to stuff that's interesting to vlog besides maybe once this office is finally set up, maybe I'll do a walkthrough vlog to show, oh, look, here's her new equipment set up, and here's how the office looks now that we got a little bit more catered towards what she wants, right? <clears throat> so, we'll see how that goes, but for the most part, it's going to be me and her doing a lot of busy shit, busy work, getting her a new phone, getting her, her driver's license in this state, getting her signed up for car insurance, clothing and shoe shopping because she needs a whole, you know, new stuff for her job out here, all kinds of stuff like that, all right? So, most stuff you guys aren't going to be interested in, just real talk, all right? Now, besides watching the videos on YouTube that go live on DSP Gaming during this week, I need you guys to vote on what you want to see me play this week. Right here. Go to my Twitter. At when this video goes live on YouTube, the Twitter poll will already be live for you to vote on what games you want to see me do playthroughs of when I come back on Friday at the 16th. Oh my god, another run of San Andreas. Why is this in the running? Because... Ladies and gentlemen, number one, it's my 10th anniversary as a content creator on the internet. And this year, what I want to do is do second playthroughs of games that maybe I've only played once over the years. And or some of the most games that are known as the synonymous with the greatest playthroughs I've ever done. San Andreas very much is one of those, alright? Number two, <clears throat> because my original playthrough of San Andreas has been destroyed by content ID matches and basically having the videos either not viewable at all anymore because of the copyright and music that was in them. Or on the flip side... Uh, muted. A lot of these videos ended up getting muted. You can't hear the audio at all. It sounds like shit. Okay, so honestly, the playthrough is ruined. All right, because the music has ruined the playthrough. The content ID, you can't watch half the parts. Some of the parts sound like you're inside of a fucking tin can. People have wanted me to replay San Andreas for a while. If I replay it, there's two stipulations. Number one, it will be the HD visuals version of the game released for the Xbox 360 a few years back. So FYI, it's not going to be the original on PS2 anymore. It's actually going to be, you know, that modernized version. But also, I can't use music. I'm going to repeat myself. If I play San Andreas again, I cannot use in-game music, period. It would completely undermine the point of me doing the playthrough if half the videos are muted and not watchable on YouTube again. All right. I apologize, I know people, but that's, the, the music is synonymous with those classic games. Without the music, it won't be as good. I agree. But that's why I'm putting it to a poll, and I'm not just saying I'm doing it. If you think it's worth it, vote for it. But if you're like, man, without the music or whatever, it's not worth it, then don't vote for it. Vote for something else, okay? And then last but not least, Final Fantasy IV. 
A Final Fantasy game that I probably played more than any other, meaning I played it more times than any other. I grew up with this game. It was the first Final Fantasy game I was ever exposed to. I loved it. I owned it on the Super NES, played the living shit out of it. Um, I played every version of it, including the emulated versions, you know, Japanese version, American version, the, all the, the, the Game Boy Advance version, and all that shit. And now the version I'll be playing, if I do play it, is the Nintendo DS version, which is the hardest version. They upped the difficulty back to the original high-level Japanese difficulty. When they ported this game to American and or English uh, audiences, they made it easier. Because people were saying, oh, probably it was too hard in Japan. Let's make it easier for Western audiences. It's back to its original difficulty. I'm okay with that. I know everything about the game, much like my Final Fantasy VI playthrough years and years ago. This playthrough will very much be a walkthrough because I know so much about the game, not really a playthrough. All right. <clears throat> Again, a perfect game for my 10th anniversary. A game that's true, tried and true to my heart and from my past that I know will be an entertaining playthrough for you guys. On the flip side, I've never done it before. Unlike Rick and Thunder San I never even played Final Fantasy IV before, so it could be really good. The money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. <laughs> Do the bubble of